Hello there, fellow lit people, ready to get into a literary groove? Here is a line-by-line -line summary of the poem Possibilities by Wisława Simberska, the well-known Polish poet, who won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1996. Let's get started. The poem Possibilities consists of 11 lines, with each line beginning with the phrase I prefer. The poem explores the idea of individual preference and choice and the uniqueness and value that those preferences bring to our lives. Each line reveals a different preference of the speaker, including their preference for movies, cats, trees, authors, personal connections, the color green, avoiding strict rationality, and exceptions over the norm. The poem begins with the speaker expressing a personal preference for movies over other forms of entertainment. This line sets up the theme of the poem, which is the idea of choice and endless possibilities that life offers. In the second line, the speaker expresses a preference for cats over dogs. The speaker goes on to express a preference for a specific type of tree that grows along the Varta River. This preference is more specific than the previous two, suggesting that our preferences can be influenced by our environment and personal experiences. The final line of the poem expresses a preference for exceptions to the norm. This line suggests that our preferences can be influenced by our desire for variety and the unexpected. Possibilities by Wisława Simberska is a free verse poem with no regular meter or rhyme scheme. However, the poem does use a number of literary devices to create its meaning and tone. One of the key literary devices used in the poem is repetition. The repeated phrase I prefer is used at the beginning of each line, emphasizing the speaker's personal preferences and creating a sense of continuity throughout the poem. This repetition also suggests that our preferences are a fundamental aspect of our individuality. Another literary device used in the poem is imagery. The speaker's preferences for movies, cats, trees, colors, and authors all create vivid mental images for the reader. This use of imagery makes the poem more engaging and personal, allowing the reader to connect with the speaker's preferences and experiences. The poem also uses contrast to create its meaning and tone. The speaker's preference for personal connections over a general love for humanity and for exceptions over the norm creates a sense of individuality and uniqueness. This contrast emphasizes the importance of personal choice and suggests that our differences are what make us interesting and valuable. The tone of the poem is introspective and contemplative, as the speaker reflects on their personal preferences and what they reveal about their identity. The repetition of I prefer creates a sense of confidence and assertiveness, suggesting that the speaker is comfortable with their choices and values. However, there is also a sense of uncertainty and openness to the poem, as the speaker acknowledges that there are many possibilities and choices in life. Overall, Possibilities uses a variety of literary devices, including repetition, imagery, and contrast, to explore the theme of individuality and personal choice. The poem's free verse form and introspective tone create a sense of openness and contemplation, inviting the reader to reflect on their own preferences and what they reveal about their identity. So that was it for the summary. Did ye line the poem? Tell us what you thought in the comments. Thank you. See you soon.